Okay, so today we're going to be looking at some congruent triangles. First of all, what does congruent triangles mean? It means that um, two triangles are congruent if they're exactly the same. So congruent just means that they, they're the same in all ways. So this goes back to our axioms. This is going to be axiom number four that we're looking at today. And remember, axiom just means fact. We don't have to think about this, we don't have to prove it. There are ways to prove these things. They are usually quite annoying and hard to do, but we don't have to prove these. Um, and this is axiom four. Before we go into this, I just want to go through a few things. Um, say if we have two triangles that look like this, I'm drawing these very crudely, so bear with me. Um, if I wanted to prove this, we wanted to show corresponding sides. What I would do is I take, say, a line here, and if I draw this line here, that means this side corresponds to this side because it's the same line. If I do two lines, that means this one's gonna have two lines, and this is three lines, three lines. So it doesn't matter where your lines go, but what I'm showing is that this side corresponds to this side, this side corresponds to here. We do the same with angles. You could do a dot, sometimes they do dots. So these two will be corresponding. And it's important that we put those dots in the right place because we have a line here and three lines here and the dot goes between those. Line, three lines, dot in between. So two lines and three lines, I'm gonna put just this kind of one. So that means this one has to go between the two lines and the three lines on this one. And then we're just left with this one. Sometimes they do a double one of these like this. So practice that, practice looking at different triangles and how they measure them out. I know there are loads of different questions that you can do about this, but it's really important you get it like they have to be corresponding. They can't be just random places that you're looking at. So axiom four, um, sorry, I spelled that wrong. Axiom, I-O-M. Axiom four says um, two triangles are congruent if the first one says all three sides are equal. All three sides are equal. And we call this SSS, side, side, side. So if you were to measure the three sides of these and they were exactly the same, so if this one now, when I say exactly the same, it means that this one here has to be the exact same as this one here. This one here has to be the exact same as this one here. And this one here has to be exact same as that one here. So it's exactly which ones are equal. If this is four and this is four, this is five and this is five, that does not mean they're congruent. So they have to be the exact same side that we're looking at. If they are all the exact same, then these triangles are actually the same triangle. So that's what the first one says. The second one says the two triangles are congruent if two sides and one angle. Two sides and the included angle is what they kind of say. So um, two sides and the included angle are equal. And we call this one S A S SAS. Okay? So we've got S S S now S A S. What this means is that the angle has to be between the two sides. So if we were looking at this one and I said that this line here with the one line and this one here with the two lines, the angle we'd use here would be this one here. So if this side, this side, and this angle are the exact same as this side, this side, and this angle then these two triangles are the exact same. So it'd be, it'd have to be this side equal to this side, this side equal to this side, and this angle equal to this angle. Otherwise it wouldn't work. So be careful with those things. You just be really careful that you're picking the right angles, okay? The last one says they're congruent if two angles and the side between them are equal. So two angles, and the side between them
are equal. And this is called ASA. Okay, so we've got angle, angle, angle side, angle is what this one is. So we have, say, two angles. Let's pick the dot and the one arc. So you've got a dot and this one. So if this angle is equal to this dot angle, and this angle is equal to this angle, and then this side between them is equal to this side between these, then these two triangles are congruent, are exactly the same. So these two triangles will be the same if this and this and this and this and this and this are all the same. So really you need to get used to saying these things, but if you can get used to S, 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 A, S, A, S, A, then you'll know that you can test triangles in these three ways, and if any of these happen, then these two triangles are going to be exactly congruent.